Well, hello. I'm using my Dina Wakely Art Journal today, and I'm laying down a layer of gel medium, um, which will then be used to stick the napkin or the serviette, depending on which country you live in. Um, I also cover the, the serviette with the gel medium using an old brush. You'll want to make sure that it's pretty uh, stuck down. And obviously I'm way too impatient to wait for it to dry, so I'll just use my heat tool. And then I put a layer of clear gesso over this. Uh, a lot of people ask me why. It is because I find that uh, the gel medium will resist some of the other media that I like to use, like gelatos or water paint or inks. Um, and then the gesso actually gives it a bit of a tooth to stick to. So I like using uh, old Bible paper um, in my layouts. I prefer it to be Bible paper because then I know um, what the content is rather than some steamy novel or something like that. Um, and I use the gel medium again to lay that or stick that down. I then take a butterfly sticker, a butterfly stamp, sorry, just to uh, uh, put the page together a bit more, make it look more combined as one, as though it was intended to be one layout. It doesn't have to be perfect stamping, it just needs to uh, bring the two together. I decide to use a printable uh, by uh, Ella Roots, um, but first I want to push the images to the background a bit so I use white gesso um, it allow I put a thin layer down so it allows me to still um, be able to see the the picture and the text just um, a bit less stark uh, I quite like that one butterfly so I use a wet wipe just to take off the white gesso from that one so that it uh, comes back to the forefront So I play around a, lit, a little bit with, with my uh, printable and deciding where, where I'll put what and where I want the chipboard to go and where the focal point needs to go and um, where the butterflies will go. I use my Tombow uh, liquid glue to adhere the focal point and then I put a layer of gel medium down because I use an inkjet printer um, I wanted to protect the ink so that it doesn't run um, then I take gesso white gesso to prepare my chipboard for whatever I wanted to use after that which ends up being some distress oxide this white gesso always splatters all over me when I close it so I've got uh, gesso all over my shirt um, I use Distress Oxide to give it uh, or to layer color over it and then just some um, spritzer with water to make it look a bit more distressed. Couldn't find a, a tissue or towel to dry it up with so I just used the nearest uh, packaging. Um, I use some glitter glue to add some bling to some of the places on the chipboard which um, was some flowers and just the edges of the butterfly uh, it seems you can't see that clearly on the video but it's there so it's a little bit of shimmery and shine um, just for some extra interest the text I used was from Song of Solomon out of the Bible um, and the focal point I used uh, was um, it says label me loved I also use the distress oxide here to accent the outline of the butterflies I wanted to get some extra dimension some extra texture to this page so I decide to apply some texture paint through a stencil using an old gift card um, which then applies it evenly through the stencil. Um, they're just some random stripes that uh, just 
adds a little bit of interest. And so I take some Distress Oxide through another stencil that I made. Uh, it just It's just a verse from uh, 1 Corinthians 13 that I cut out with my brother Scan and Cut. Um, so it has the little outlines of words if I stencil with the, um, or blend with the oxides through the stencil. It just makes it come together a bit more, um, makes it seem like it was intended to be that way with the writing over all of the elements I decided to use. Um, I then use that same blending tool with the same oxide to just uh, give the edges a distressed look so that it has kind of a border around the, the layout. And then I do the same with the butterflies just to border that. Um, added with the yellow I used before, it, it just made it look really pretty and stand out. I also do, do this over the texture paste uh, so that it... Uh, just blends into the page. Obviously some more bling. Uh, we want some Nuvo drops with some shimmery shine, pearly shine on that uh, on those butterflies. I tried to stick my chipboard down with glue, <laughs> the hot glue gun, but I <laughs> was definitely not fast enough. Um, and so the glue had dried way before I could stick it down. Um, so gel medium, as usual, comes to the rescue. I find it's more flexible and it's easier to um, stick things down. So I fold the wings over on these butterflies and I just stick down the body so that it looks like the wings are flapping and they are moving on the page. And that is a wrap. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you could get notifications of any future videos. If you have any questions or want me to do any other type of videos uh, leave a comment in the box below. Bye-bye.